What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to talk about two things. And one is a message that I sent to my friend, which is that becoming a YouTuber is harder than finishing a college. But let's talk about this a little bit later. Before that comes topic number two, we're going to celebrate. <laughs> If you've been on my channel from the really beginning, you think the same. It's really surprising that I only have 100 videos in two years. Actually 148 with the Hungarian vlogs, but who counts it? But this is, this video is my 100th English vlog. And this is cliche, but it's not just me. It's every single comment, every single like that gave me ambition and gave me an extra push to make a new video and be be creative every single one of those helped me and i really appreciate for for everything that i get from you guys 100 <laughs> before i would start eating this let's get back a bit and let's look what really happened during these two years so let's go into my room and let's go through some videos i know that going through all these videos will be pretty emotional so let me open a celebrational beer This beer is a Romanian beer and I was keeping this for a special occasion and I'm pretty sure that this one is a special occasion. Let's see if the taste is still the same as I remember. Just like in college. Just like in college. <laughs> All right, let's jump into it. Things were a little bit different back when I started YouTubing. I was doing so many interesting things that I thought it would be cool to share with my friends and my family in Transylvania. And even though I was a beginner filmmaker, I was trying out new tricks every week. I even made a painting that has the value of 13 million dollars for me. <laughs> we went to the biggest Hungarian party in America. Hey sir, please no more running. I don't know. <laughs> and we tried how is the ocean in pitch black. Even though we still kept the weekend routines. There was a new family member to the vlog. Unfortunately, this was the time when I had my first accident with a kayak. And pretty soon after that, I had to sell that car. And not because of some scary people that I showed in my vlog, but because I wanted this car. Then I also traveled to Canada to visit my family. I moved for like three times, but I still kept partying. <laughs> this was also the time when I got my current name through an interview, because I started every single video with my real name. Reves but in America. But still, when this guy talked about me, he gave me a different name. So, this is how I became CK. Halloween was great, I really overkilled my makeup that year, but the best part was still the pumpkin curving and the turkey that year. I moved in with my best friends and one of them was so lucky that he learned to drive with my car. After this much vlogging, it was time to visit Casey Neistat's office. And after this much vlogging, it was ready to say goodbye. But this goodbye wasn't a real goodbye. This goodbye was leading me to do an epic language change. And this is when I started to vlog in English. Oh, hey. Good morning. <coughs> oh, 
I guess this is my first English vlog then. And I guess I will keep the accent. <laughs> now that I was vlogging in English, I had to break in with some parties again. And with the crunchiest Philly cheesesteak ever. And I also taught you how I make my Transylvania vampire juice. This was also the time when I had to leave my second Mustang behind due to a huge snowstorm. But just a couple weeks later I had to say goodbye to my banana Mustang forever. After that accident I stopped vlogging for a good two months. But summer was coming and I dropped some new great effects in the videos. That one and a half year was the darkest period of my life. And we spent a lot of time on the beach. I dropped a lot of tutorials since then and while I was teaching I learned a lot. That year we spent my birthday in New York City and we went on a couple hidden places. I forgot my friend in the laundromat and we recorded my favorite video ever with her. her. Uh -huh. I hate you. I kept traveling to a couple nice places. I went to DC as well and of course I showed you my hometown in Transylvania. I came back in America and I realized that Josh cannot drink just like a college kid. Whatever Josh, where is the American part? <laughs> I participated in my first video challenge, which I think it came out pretty damn good. Freaking hell! Also we survived the reactor shutdown. With partying. <laughs> and we celebrated this by writing a song to one of my best friends. This vlogging experience took me to a new level. It took me to a real short movie recording site where I learned a lot. But this really changed the direction where I want to go in the future. But I couldn't really think about this because my friend left me. After three months of vacation time, RP went home in Transylvania. But thankfully he left me some good memories. Stop. And these were all just a couple months ago. Since then I bought a new camera and I'm still on my way of stepping up my game and let's see what the next 100 videos are bringing me. <laughs> after, after so many great great memories and so many cries and laughs and, and just a huge a lot of experience. Sometimes we did stuff just because the vlog we travel just because the vlog. This has a negative side, but this also has a huge positive side when you look back and you see all your memories in videos. This is great. <laughs> For all the guys who were with me since the really beginning, Adam. Adam. <laughs> Zoli. Washington DC. Florin. He kind of changed since the progressive commercials. <laughs> Victoria. Wasabi. <laughs> Joshua. Mm. Beth. Am I supposed to hear anything in here? RP. Thank you very much for helping me and and everybody. Thank you. Now let's go out and eat that cake because I'm hungry. <laughs> well, this is what happened in the past two and a half years. Thanks for staying with me and thanks for following me. Now, there's another topic that I mentioned at the beginning of this video. So let's just jump to, to my other studio and let's talk about, about that one. So let's go back to the first topic. Not too long ago, exactly 10 years passed since then, uh, the young CK decided that he will go in college. I left my mom's house and I left my city and it was a total new world waiting for me. But it only took me a couple days to start having fun. <laughs> Those were the best years of my life. We partied 24-7 and when the exam season came, we just started learning. 
being productive, meeting my upload schedule, the quality, the consistency, and beside this, going to work every single weekday reminds me of the, of the exam season from my college. And it's funny because neither of these hustles are guaranteed. Some are luckier than others, but you will need to push really hard to become that one. My college was pretty hard, but it was still easier than becoming a YouTuber. So what I'm asking from you is keep your dreams tight, but at the same time, don't ignore a path that gives you another option. Finish your school. And that would be what I ask, and that would be my conclusion too. And thanks for being with me. If you like this video, then make sure you leave me a like button in the comment section below and hit the subscribe with the pink snow shovel and see you in... Wait a minute, wait a minute. First... Not bad. It's not bad to have a hundred videos on YouTube. See you in the next one. Bye-bye. <laughs>